Malcolm is back again with the with the review of all time. That's right, people. It's on. Today, Bionic Buyers will be reviewing the greatest of all Transformers merchandise. The PS2 Revenge of the Fallen video game. Just kidding. We're really going to be reviewing GDO Cliff Jumper. And I was one of the people where I did not want the first edition Cliff Jumper. I know, crazy, right? I, I sound insane for saying that. Am I wrong? Well, get this. The moment I saw this in Toys R Us, it's like I had to have him. Because it's like, I love the shade of red on this. It's not nearly as orangey looking as the first edition Cliff Temper, which I know it's not an orangey red, but for some odd reason, it just pops as an orange to me. Towards with this, it's a nice deep cherry, almost kind of pearly red it, and it's, it, it, I, there's no other way to explain it it just looks really really nice and I, I just love how it looks on this car mode and I mean you know yeah you can see how he's gonna transform there it's just you know he oh very 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 nice I enjoy this figure a lot And just yeah, like my uh, original Cliff Jumper review, my Pred one. Um, my mom is a fan of the muscle car that Cliff Jumper is, which he is a bit of a challenger esque. And on here, this doesn't not look all that bad. I love the way this looks as the GDO Cliff Jumper. As first edition Cliff Jumper, not so much. And yeah, the, the little Autobot symbol right there. You're never gonna, my camera will never be able to catch that. Sorry, people. But, anyways, yeah. Without further ado, let's get to um, this guy's transformation into robot mode. And it's like, it's funny because this guy, the front becomes his legs and the back become his arms and it was completely flipped on the parade so yeah oh and one more thing everybody complains about the fact that transforming this guy back into his vehicle mode parts always seem to be loose and just does and like he doesn't seem to be solidly connected he is fine I mean, legitimately, he is just fine. I mean, yeah, I got a little bit of a gapping issue right there. But yeah, see that? I fixed it right there. So, yeah, I don't know what people are complaining about. So, yeah. With that said, let's get him transformed into his robot mode. And to do that, we are going to pull these pieces out like this, and then rotate them around like a these. Come on. Come on. Come on! There we go. Take this piece and kind of fold it up like this. Come around. Pull his knees down. And this, for some odd reason, the foot always pops off the ball joint for me. But you gotta get this out and then rotate it out like this to get his toe out, flip this piece of the window in and then fold it up and around and there's his leg. Do the same thing to the other side, second verse, same as the first. Now for the top, what we're going to do is going to flip this piece down like this, 
kind of angle this back and then rotate it around. Split this and kind of get it out of there. Rotate that. Swing this out. Take this piece and fold it up and onto the shoulder. Bring this down. Rotate it around. And close that panel up. And there's his arm. Open this up. Fold this up. Fold that up. Rotate. Rotate. Bring down. There you go. Now this is something that people just say slide it. No, actually what you're supposed to do is watch. You're supposed to slide it out as much as you can and then angle it so that when you push this up into that crevice, it keeps it locked in the angled in the angled position. Well, then come in here, flip his head up, and now this is where it's kind of cool because you take these pieces and you flip the you flip these in, you push this up, and you can see these are on its own separate hinge. Well, you take this, you fold this up, you plug it onto his back, and you plug it onto the back of his head, or the back of his neck, whatever. And then this flips up and creates the bottom of his chest. And then I guess if you wanted to, you could do that. Which slims out, which very slim back. And there we go. GDO Cliff Jumper in robot mode. And all I had to say is, ooh, ooh, so, so nice. He's a very good looking figure. Um, I like the way he turned out. I think it turned out better than mo. I think this one turned out better than most of the other GDOs. Because simply, ugh, I mean, come on. You cannot deny this. Yeah. Now. Okay, hold on. I got too, too many things going through my mind right now. Other than the fact that this figure is really freaking cool. I enjoy it a lot. And yeah. Let's get into the articulation. He's got a ball joint at the he at the neck. Which it... For some odd reason, I think this one this one emotes better than the first edition's head, which I find as a plus. Um, ball joint at the shoulder, and then another hinge at the shoulder. Bicep rotation. Wrists rotate. I'm going to keep the right hand the way it is as of now. Uh, no waist joint. You could access one by untransforming him, but it's pointless and kind of breaks him apart. Um, ball joint at the hip. Thigh swivel. Knee bend, which it's okay. It's not as good as rumbles. And then a ball joint at toe. Now, why I'm keeping this arm the way it is and giving him the articulated elbow joint, which double jointed, very nice. Um, it's because if you open this up, again, you can actually flip the hand around and give him the triple barreled blasters. There's, ooh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes. That, my friends, is a win. The Blasters makes him a win. Now, as for size comparisons, we have only one figure by us right now, and that is the Prime Rumble. 
as you can see, eh, he's a lot taller than Rumble, but that's okay because Rumble, Rumble in of himself, though he's small, he looks wicked. But that's not to drop the GDO at all. The GDO looks really, really nice. I definitely do enjoy the cliff cliff jumper. I want to get Wheelie and I want to get Springer. I could care less about uh that Swerve because it's repainted out of cup, and I really don't want to old own more than two versions of that mold. But yeah, I'm just kind of haphazardly spinning his wheel. Yeah. Well, Bob Barnes recommend the GDO Cliff Jumper. If you don't already have the first edition, don't feel bad about getting the GDO because he because this one looks just as good. But if you have the first edition Cliff Jumper, then mainly it's your own opinion on whether or not you want to pick this up. He's a cool looking figure, and since I didn't already have the first edition Cliff Jumper, I was more than happy to welcome him into my collection. But, you know, your mileage may vary. I already know for a fact that uh, Might Mouse has this. And he like he likes this guy a lot, too. And at first I was like, eh, well, he's okay. I might, I might pick him up. But once I saw him in Toys R Us, like, with all this, like, just the really, really nice red plastic and the cool-looking head, I had to have him. I just... Just some force took me over and said you have to have this you, you, you must buy this and I did and I don't regret it whatsoever I love this little dude with that said this is Bionicle Combiner signing out from the video review of the Transformers GDO Asia exclusive cliff jumper um I might have a reversal up today too who it will be, I have no idea. My camera keeps darkening for some odd reason. Probably because of the plastic. But, yeah. Should you pick this up? If you don't already have the first edition Cliff. But if you do, and you want to pick it up, by all means, go ahead. He's cool looking. I love him. A anyway, at any rate, if I can talk... This is Bonkabiner signing out for the video review of the GEO Cliff Jumper. I'll catch you guys next time.